Welcome to Satish Peaks channel. Yesterday the market has opened with a gap down of almost 3%, 1800 points. And when it closed it was almost 5% down. And today the market has opened up with a gap up of almost 2.5% and currently it is trading at 3% upside. So what has changed between yesterday and today? Nothing. Before the market opened yesterday, Mr. Putin has already declared a war and still now the war is actually happening in between Russia and Ukraine. There has been nothing changed in the market but the market reacts differently. So market or financial assets are increasingly complex and increasingly volatile. My question when you are managing your own portfolio is that how sure are you about the quality of your portfolio even if it is a mutual fund or equity if it is mutual fund all the funds whatever you are holding are you holding the high return funds with good consistency that's number 1 and number 2 how peaceful is your journey this is the most important aspect how comfortable and how peaceful is your journey because there are most of the investors they started their investment journey from 2020 april let me tell you in 2019 the markets january to december it closed with a positive note bull market again in 2020 january to december bull market positive note again in 2021 january to december it's a bull market possibly you have never seen a negative market or whenever you are seeing a some kind of a fall the recovery is also very quick so is this how the market behave is this how the history actually repeating definitely no this 3 years are completely different from the 42 years of history what sensex has so the most important aspect is that are you having a comfortable journey is your portfolio is really yielding the best returns if you don't have any confusion if you don't have any worry it is good but if you are having because since yesterday i have received lot of sms comments queries regarding should i exit my portfolio should i add funds what should i do with my portfolio my portfolio is 50% down most of the investor they have invested in the new age business companies like zomato paytm nike car trade 70% down from the 52 weeks high and they are suffering a huge losses so my question to you is sir are you having a comfortable journey in your investment let me tell you how important an advisor to anybody so i am satish financial consultant and author of this book called untold wealth secret also i am writing a column in nanayam migdan which is a middle class to millionaire and my second book which is also ready to launch i will be uh, releasing my launch date very soon so now in this video i am going to tell you that the five qualities what you have to look out for when you are choosing an advisor so let me actually start the video with that do you really need an advisor so let's take an example the prime minister of a country or a president of a country it's a very powerful position and 100% the prime minister or the president whoever hold these kind of positions are highly intelligent persons or they are an experts they will be having 40 years 50 years of experience even after they are an expert and having a rich experience they still have council of ministers those council of ministers they advise the president and prime minister on their respective industries even the god of cricket mr sachin tendulkar till that time he actually retired whenever he needs any suggestion recommendation he goes back to his coach he is a god of cricket he is craftsman if if his competency skills unparalleled but still he has a coach similarly any business leader or ceo they are guided by board of directors or the business mentor ceo mentor sir even you are an expert you will be viewing your own opinion in one particular unidirectional way if you have to look at the multi dimensional definitely you need an expert or an advisor or a mentor coach so how to select that coach i am giving you this five criteria the number one criteria is that the, is he a professional and is he an expert please check i have read this wonderful book called outlier from uh, malcolm gladwell in this book he mentions that if you have to qualify for a professional you have to spend 10000 hours as a full time person in your profession 10000 hours 
in order to get the 10000 hours of experience you have to spend somewhere around 7 to 8 years so then you call yourself as a profession and what's above the professional is expert if you spend 25000 hours then you can call yourself as an expert so first criteria is that please check that whether your advisor has 20 years of experience because as I said, in the last two, four years, people would have seen only the positive things about the market. The bearish market, you have never witnessed it. I am in this field since 2002 and I have witnessed five catastrophic bear markets. So I clearly knew that how an investor can minimize a risk when these kind of fall happen. And most importantly, how you can recover a money in case if you have already suffered a fall. So that comes only with an experience. So check for your advisor experience. Number two, what are his qualifications? Is he SEBI registered? Is he AMPI registered distributor? Check for this certification because qualification is very important. These are the base qualification and also is he updating his knowledge time to time because financial investments are very complex, highly complex. When you, if you look at any doctor, they always attend one or two conference every year because of the technology advancement. There are many med uh, treatments are actually technology advancement is happening. Earlier the bypass happens for 10 days, now it is only 3 days. The many operations are actually gets over within one or two hours because of technology advancement. So they actually update themselves like the way your financial advisor consultant is he updated. For example, take certain concept. The new trending concept in retirement is FIRE, financial independence and early retirement. Is he aware about that? And how is he actually suggesting you on that particular concept? Multi-sources income, passive income are the hot topics. So what are the solutions your consultant has for these kind of challenges? Is he aware of the trending uh, challenges in the market? Please check. So second is the quality and qualifications. Third, financial continuity. Suppose, let's say that you are engaging with an advisor who is 65 year old or 60 year old. Most likely, he, ha he will stay in that profession only for 5 more years. The retirement is always 70 years, the active retirement. But you have a requirement for your investment for next 25 years. So, always choose a professional or a consultant who is at the age of 40s. So, he will have 20 years of experience as well as he will work with you for next 25 years continuously. So the connectivity is also important. Number four, there are many advisors are actually promising guaranteeing returns to their investors. But uh, let me tell you, in equity or in mutual fund, no returns are guaranteed. Past performance is just an indicator. It cannot guarantee returns. It cannot promise returns. I have seen many brokers they actually promise 60% return, 50% returns to their investors. Please be careful when people actually say guaranteed returns or if they say returns anything more than 14-15% in mutual fund and 20% in equity markets because that's the standard benchmark returns anything more than above is actually good. And finally, how big is their client portfolio? How many clients they are actually handling? Why this is important because you got to check the trustworthiness of the advisor, the ethics of the advisor and most importantly the performance and the results what he actually giving back to his clients. That's most important, the results. Suppose if the clients are not staying with the advisor, any one of these three things might be at fault. He might not be producing result or Finance is always a confidential and sensitive issue. He might not be handling it sensitivity. The confidentiality is important. The professional ethics to run a business is important. He might be lagging on that. So, when he is good with the results, if he is thoroughly a professional with the trust and ethics, I am sure that today he will be handling a good lot of customers. So, if you check all these five factors and then choose an advisor, I am 100% sure that Two things will happen. Right? The first thing is that your portfolio will yield you the best return. And number two, you will have a 
comfortable and peaceful journey which is most important because the investment horizon is 20 years 25 years you should not be actually worrying and confusing in your investment journey you should have a peaceful and comfortable investment journey okay if you need any recommendation advisory on mutual fund equity and pms my whatsapp number there connect with me and if you like this content please hit the like button so when you click the like button, the chances of this video reaching multiple people very high when you click the like button. And most importantly, please stay tuned because I will be bringing more and more interesting content on mutual fund equity and personal finance. Stay tuned. I will see you again.